All right, what's up, you guys? Wanted to record this for you. Um, we're gonna go over a couple of things in this video. Number one being, you know, we're gonna give you a bunch of infrastructure and information advantages that you guys can use for your B2B company. Another thing is, you know, you guys don't really have to hire any sort of, you know, business development company, outsource lead generation agency, anything like that. We're gonna show you how to build their exact outbound system inside of your business. Cause the main thing that they have um, which they offer to you guys on, you know, two to 4k a month retainer is the infrastructure advantage. And then also the information advantage, like I said earlier, basically going to give you that, um, how exactly they use it to sell you guys and also how you guys can build that inside of your businesses. And on the data side, we're going to show you how to get access to around 50 plus data providers in one place. So you guys are obviously saving a ton of money on the data. And then also you could use this for your B2B sales team to, um, so they aren't really, you know, doing the high, lowest leverage tasks in terms of actually manually researching contacts or manually writing app on messaging. We're going to wipe that out and make sure that we use AI for that aspect. So the SDRs can do the highest leverage things possible. So who is this for? This is for you. If you are obviously, you know, thinking in terms of capital efficiency, trying to grow your business, um, looking to pack your sales team's calendar. If you even have a sales team, maybe you have several SDRs, maybe you have a director of sales. The goal is essentially just to pack your calendar um, in a capital efficient manner. If you guys are focused, focused on product, um, not really you know specialized when it comes to marketing or sales, this is for you. Um, this is how you can use our 35K to $140,000 a month case study that we did with Hey Social um, in around 10 months. This is the app on protocol. You guys can use this inside of your company. And then the main thing as well, right? You're not burning cash. You're not over hiring, which I see so many times, um, inefficient SDRs um, or being on a business development company's roster. Um, we're we're going to you know tackle that. We're going to go through a couple of things as well on how to prevent all these three things happening. Um, but first off, the goal with anything um, when it comes to business is obviously, you know, making your business, your service, your product, everything um, when it comes to your name, um, essentially just a cash cow. So that's our goal with anything. Especially in this video, we're going to go over that, how exactly to make your company a cash cow, build an in-house cold email slash client acquisition app on system so your company can turn, you know, all of your profits um, and eventually, you know, sell the company within several years, um, increase your valuation since you already have a client acquisition system internally. So obviously, you know, let's see like what the definition of a cash cow is before we get into the video. So it is something that generates significant revenue over a long period of time for the company that sells it, right? The term is derived from the idea that the cash cow milks steady profits for the company over an extended period of time without requiring large investments um, or resources. This is the main thing. When I talk about capital efficiency, time efficiency, um, we're gonna use AI for a lot of this. And then also, like I said, um, the infrastructure and information advantages, AI replacing a lot of the human centric work. So. We're going to go over a lot of things in this video. I'm going to give you guys access to this document, most likely on the website. You're going to be able to click it. Um, but for right now, if you guys wanted to, you know, basically, basically an audio version of the Google Doc, we can go over that. Um, I can explain a couple things. Um, we can go over that as well. So first off, we're going to go over a couple things. The first two, um, number one being, you know, how cold outbound can unlock predictability in your business, in your cash cow, your money print or whatever you want to call your specific business. Um, how can do a couple of things, right? Obviously, the most important thing is booking qualified sales calls um, for very, very, you know, little money down. When it comes to this, obviously, the goal with business is, you know, LTV to CAC, right? We want to make sure that the LTV of a customer um, is as high as possible. We want to make sure that the CAC, the cost to actually acquire that customer is the lowest it can be. So that's basically business, right? Literally trying to increase LTV while trying to lower CAC. That's That's it, right? That's it. With this, we're going to use cold email and cold outbound to get to the CAC side and lowering CAC to as low as possible. When it comes to um, obviously specific services, specific products, it could be worth five figures in terms of the LTV. It could be worth six. It could be worth seven. Depending on that, um, that's not super important, at least right now. But the main thing is, you know, you can book qualified sales calls using cold outbound for around $50 to $200 per call. Um, which is a very, very low CAC depending on um, your LTV and your how long you actually you know keep a customer, right? 
it also unlocks predictability. So when it comes to like content or ads, um, it's a little bit different. It takes time when it comes to cold email or cold outbound, it could work essentially immediately. And it also unlocks predictability. You can do a lot of testing in terms of the actual angles. So if you have, you know, either like a new product or you have a new angle that you want to test for your current product, um, you can do that very fast. You can do it very cheap. Um, and then from there, you can kind of like test the winners, test, you know, turn off to losers. And then from there, once you actually find a winning angle, you could use that and start running ads with that, build, you know, SEO articles, start building long form content. But it also, it all starts with cold email and cold outbound for that initial kind of like testing phase. Um, but also once you do crack cold traffic and you're, you're cracking cold email, if an offer and a product and some sort of angle works with cold email or cold traffic, um, obviously that's like the best case scenario. If it works with cold traffic, it's obviously going to work with warm traffic or hot traffic. So that's the main thing um, in how cold outbound can unlock predictability inside of your company. The main three things, number one, very capital efficient, can book calls for $50 to $200 per call, unlocks predictability, and you can test angles, you can test products, um, you can test very many things, and it's very fast, very cheap. So we're also going to go over how you could essentially, uh, obviously you guys, I'm, I'm going to presume you guys are getting an absolutely ridiculous amount of lead generation companies inside of your inbox. You're trying to pitch you, um, whether that's pay per call, um, you know, we'll do cold email for you. We'll get you leads. We'll, we'll get you booked calls, um, 10 appointments a month. I'm sure you've heard all of it. I have as well. Um, uh, it's absolutely annoying, but we're going to go over why most of them suck. Um, how, I mean, like how, like why, why there's kind of like a cold email campaign, uh, stampede. And then also how to completely cut off them, which is the middleman and build their system internally inside of your business. So you never have to deal with them again, the way they usually work. They're going to put you on, you know, if, if obviously you guys respond to these cold emails, if you've done it in the past, they're going to put you on a two to three K a month retainer or $3 pay per call from there. Um, it obviously does not cost that much in raw, you know, raw charges to actually, you know, maintain and build the system or the data. Um, so they're going to upcharge you that they're going to upsell you 10 X. Like, I mean, like how else will they make money? And you're also on a roster as well, right? In order for them to survive, in order for them to make money. They're going to need to take on five, 10, 50, a hundred clients. Um, and they also have obviously those other clients to fulfill for as well. You might be put on their back burner or some sort of like customer service manager, um, service rep, whoever it is, um, who's getting paid like 10, 20 bucks a month, more, probably even less, um, to talk with you directly when it comes to the actual data, they're either going to use the same data that everybody else uses or. That that's this is the case for eighty percent of them. They're going to use Apollo, Zoom, whatever it is, Snov.io, or they're going to have a proprietary data set, but not a very good system when it comes to the app on process um, or actually like handling cold traffic. With this, most of these companies they charge one of them charges three to four k a month just to reach out to a thousand contacts. Um, so that's just, they don't even guarantee any, anything. They just say like, Hey, we'll use this. We'll use our data. We'll reach out to a thousand contacts and you're going to pay us 4k a month for like a three month contract. Um, and then also when it comes to these companies, they're only helping with one mechanism, right? Cold email, cold album. That's just one thing, one piece of the puzzle. There's so many different pieces. Um, and that's most likely why if you've worked with them, you didn't see great results. Either they don't know exactly what they're doing or you guys need help inside of your business than just that one little problem. That's just one little problem that's being solved. They only focus on that kind of like a one mechanism. That's great. It is. Um, but they're still missing factors that actually like they're, they're still missing pieces to the puzzle. Um, you might be suffering with them as well. Um, it could be, you know, actually converting the cold traffic, having that specific sales process. Um, cause it's very, very different than if you guys have, just been relying on referrals or inbound leads, word of mouth, um, even ads a little bit as well. There's a very, very different process when it comes to cold outbound versus, you know, warm traffic, warm inbound, um, the sales process, and then also SDR inefficiencies. We'll get into that very, very soon. Very long sales cycles, too much manual work on the humans, specifically the SDRs and the growth team. And then also low quality data sources as well. We're going to get into all this in a little bit. 
Also, we're going to go over how we can build their exact system inside of your company. You're not, you know, you're not going to be upcharged 10x the raw cost of the data, like I said, or the actual infrastructure that is inside of your company. You're not going to be able to, you're not going to have to pay them on the number of contacts that you reach out to, 3K retainers, um, $400 per call, long-term contracts, nothing like that. Also with these companies, most of the time, if you part ways, um, they're going to strip the entire system from your company. So if you're seeing good results, then you say, hey, can we pause? Hey, can we go our separate ways? You're not going to keep that company. You're not going to keep the infrastructure, the system, the data, nothing. They're going to strip that from you because that's their, that's why they made money, right? So they're not going to. Um, let you keep the keep the actual system. Um, when it comes to building their exact that exact system inside of your company, you're gonna be able to book fifty. You're gonna be able to book appointments for around fifty dollars to two hundred dollars more or less um, per qualified appointment. You're gonna have access to all their data providers. I'm gonna get into this in a little bit. It might sound like wow, that's that can't be true. We're gonna get, in, get into that in a little bit. I'm gonna screen share and show you guys. Um, but with this as well, this is the main um, kind of like unique proposition. They use, they might use five data providers. I'm going to show you how to get access to 50 plus data providers just in one Google sheet. Also, if your company is, let's say you have, you have SDRs that are working, um, they're on like a 50 K a year, you know, base salary plus commissions. Maybe they spend four hours a day, five hours a day, actually doing manual research on the contacts. Um, I'm going to show you how you can replace that, you know, let's say they're spending four hours a day um, and they could be doing the highest leverage stuff, which is, you know, actually like warm calling leads, sending personalized Loom videos. I'm going to show you how if, if they're spending that amount of time searching something manually, I'm going to show you how to automate that entire process and give you examples on how to do that um, and how you can build that system inside of your business as well. And then also the infrastructure, like let's say you wanted to build their exact system in-house. You don't have to pay two, three K a month. You don't have to get in a long-term contract. X amount of per call, um, you're going to have that exact system inside of your business as well. No upcharging, no upselling, you have full ownership over it as well. And then when it comes to how cold email um, and cold app on in general is changing in 2024 with AI, I'm going to show you guys all the things that you could do as well. It's the very, very, you know, thesis behind it is human centric automation, right? So like I said, if you have SDRs doing manual research or doing any sort of like manual outbound, manual follow-ups, um, for around like 80 to 90% of that can actually be, you know, replaced with AI. Um, like I said, when it comes to the SDRs or the actual marketing team, um, it can be replaced using AI, the actual app on prospecting, um, human SDRs must focus on, I just talked about a couple of these things, but when it comes to this, the actual AI, you know, if you have human SDRs who are doing a couple of these things, um, AI can replace it. And I'm going to show you guys that as well. Um, a couple of things. And then also selling prospects off of call this, if you guys have kind of like, you know, SDRs and then account executives, or just like a director of sales, um, we're going to show you how to build assets that actually do a lot of the selling off of the call. So on the call, they're not saying, Hey, I'm on the call. What do you guys do? Right. We want to make sure that once they get on the call, it's closing time, not selling time. And you do that with long form and short form sales assets. Um, kind of like this video that you're watching as well, where it goes over the entire thesis, it goes over the entire process. And then once, you know, you're actually on a call with these prospects, um, they're a lot more, they're a lot more like aware of who you are, what you do, how you can help and your process as well. You're also going to see how you could place your SDRs, um, your Navy SEAL, Navy SEAL team of SDRs. You don't need 10 SDRs. You don't need five SDRs. I promise you. At the most, you need two to three. At the absolute most, to scale um, to several hundred thousand dollars a month, um, we're going to show you how to place those several SDRs inside of this automated system. And you know, ultimately, the goal is capital efficient growth with app on funnels and AI data. Also, if you are looking to sell the company, this is a very, very um, great value proposition that you can put in your pitch deck to investors, saying like, "Look." We've gotten to this level. We're looking to sell. Um, we have an in-house client acquisition system that's booking X amount of calls every month for our company. That is resulting in X clients. Um, predictability will increase it tenfold um, depending on what your current valuation is right now. Also, and, and with all this being said, the goal is to differentiate from mass market, right? Goal is 
to differentiate from mass market competition and crack cold outbound and just have some sort of lever inside of the business to book sales calls on autopilot, test angles, and ultimately close deals for a low CAC. So document is for product focused B2B founders, like I said, with a sales team who are suffering from a couple things. Um, we call it death by 1000 cuts. If you are currently relying on referrals or word of mouth or still are, you decided to hire some sort of business development team didn't work out, or you decided to bring on um, an actual internal team, sales team, SDRs, um, BDRs, whoever it is, they're not really performing well. Um, you think it's them, you think it's the system, you think, oh, this product doesn't work with cold e or with cold traffic. Oh, this is not going to work. This was a mistake. Um, it's most likely due to having a predictable client acquisition system and the infrastructure inside of your business to actually place these SDRs, right? Not able to pull a lever inside of the business to fill the calendar. If your calendar looks like this, um, very unfortunate. And able to close at least 30% of these leads on predictability inside of future growth projections. Um, you actually have the desire to scale. You have desire to grow the company. You don't really have the you don't really have the you know the what or the how to actually make that happen. You've potentially been burned by business development companies or lead generation companies. Don't really trust anybody who wants to sell them or sell you guys any sort of like lead generation. Um, we'll get you leads. Um, performance basis, blah, 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 blah. You've heard it all before. You're ha you have a high CAC, you have high cost per acquisition. Um, each client, you're focusing too much on leverage, low leverage tasks, too much mental bandwidth spent on low level marketing. You haven't seen any sort of ROI when it comes to outbound. You lack the cash flow and the free time to reinvest back in the growth of the business. You're taking on unqualified, unqualified clients because you don't really have lead flow. You don't have a packed calendar to actually choose your clients. Um, you need cash flow, right? So you're just taking on any client that you can in order to get cash flow to pay your employees to make sure that you know, your family's being fed. You don't really want to rely on an, any sort of external agencies who, like you, like I said, they're you know you're on a roster, right? They have 32 other clients, 24 other clients, whoever it is. Um, they're struggling to deliver for them, and you don't really want to rely on them. You don't want to pay them a retainer. You don't want to get tied into a long term contract. You also, with all that being said, you don't want to, you know, spend years of trial and tribulations to actually learn how to get strangers to buy your things, right? When it comes to cold outbound, um, you want to be present in your team's sales process, operations, client fulfillment, hiring at the same time. Running a business is difficult. If you try to learn every single piece um, within, it's going to take you years. It's going to take you so many years. Um, so it's going to take a long time if you want to learn everything, especially when it comes to cold outbound. Because look, it's in a constant state of evolution as well. Um, you know, the market is changing quite literally every three months, every six months, um, especially with the new AI technology out and the new softwares. It's very, very hard to keep up with the newest and best strategies. And you also could potentially be knowing where your next client is going to come from. So in an attempt to fix these issues that we saw in the market, it's impossible to solve them with just one specific approach. Like I said earlier, most companies... If they do a good job, they're just helping on one specific mechanism when it comes to actually reaching out to your ideal clients. There's a lot of things that are involved. Um, and we're going to get into that as well. Like I said, business is about information advantages and also infrastructure advantages. This means that having solutions to problems and insights can help someone get to their goals faster and more efficiently than the current way that they're doing it, right? So for example, I think this could be relevant to you guys. If you hire an SDR before you actually validate the messaging, the offer, and the market, and the problem that you're trying to solve, the cold and the cold traffic funnel to accelerate the sales cycle, which most of you guys are not doing, you and the SDR or several SDRs will become very frustrated because you're actually not seeing results. You're putting in the inputs, but they're not high quality inputs because you, know, you don't know any better. Um, most of the time, you will have to fire this SDR um, or just you know, try to find other solutions, um, most likely why you are watching this video right now. Um, if you try to run paid ads without actually validating, like I said earlier, the angle market fit, and then also the product market fit, and actually finding which problem, like which specific angle and which specific problem are you trying to solve in your ideal market, you test that with cold outbound. Um, if you do that, if you try to run ads, try to run $100 a day, $50 a day, $200 a day, whatever it is, you're going to burn your cash, right? You're going to lose a lot of money. And you're not going to see a very high ROI with your capital. Um, and it's not going to go very well at all because you're 
basically just casting a wide net. You're saying, Hey, let me spend a ton on ads, see if it works. Um, the, the step is at the very, very top test product market fit angle market fit with cold outbound for very, very cheap, very fast. And then from there, once you actually find a winner, now you go to ads, right? It's not, it's not, this is number one. It's this is number one. And this is number two. And if you run any sort of outbound prospecting, advertising and inside sales team and aren't utilizing, you know, off the call slash pre-call direct response marketing, it could be in the form of long form, or it could be in the form of short form content to turn the cold traffic into warm traffic. Um, you're going to see a hard time. It's going to be hard to close these deals. It's going to be hard to close annual contracts. It's going to be hard to close deals like two calls, three calls. It's going to take four or five, six, seven, eight calls to close a deal that should be closed in two calls. Um, it's going to be very, very hard. You're going to waste a lot of money and you're going to waste a lot of time. Um, so the way to do that, we're going to get into that as well, but it's in the form of direct response marketing and basically selling prospects in the form of videos, selling them in the form of Google, Google slides, presentations, pitch decks, um, long form documents, short form VSLs, everything when it comes to kind of like what you are doing off of the call, like whatever you do on the call, the goal is to turn that into off the call sales assets. So you don't need to spend you know years of trial and error doing this or burning cash. Um, just follow this process below. You're going to save your team a ton of time, money and effort. Um, but first off this, this all, I know you're thinking this all sounds great. Uh, but you know, who are you? How can you help? How, who have you helped before? Um, how does this work, et cetera. We're going to go over one of those things right now when it comes to, you know, who I am and who exactly I've helped with this system. Like I mentioned earlier, um, Hey social with this, with this system, you know, they added around 105 K within 10 months. Um, they're targeting e-commerce brands, DTC companies. I was their fractional VP of growth for around, you know, 80 to 90 days built the actual infrastructure that they're currently using and have been using for the past 10 months and then still helping them on like the consulting aspect to make sure that the results aren't kind of dipping. They've referred me a ton of clients as well. I'm um, seeing great results. I'll show you guys screenshots. I think it's at the very end as well in terms of the screenshots um, or just feel free to go to case studies right here. Um, yeah, met them a couple times as well in Miami, Columbia. Great guys met them. I'm going to meet them in Dubai in a couple months. Um, they're Canadian, so super nice guys as well. Um, very good friends. Closefy as well. So this the founder of Closefy, he exited the company back in March. This outbound system helped them solve client acquisition, lead flow, um, absolutely, you know, demolishing their calendar with sales calls. It also increased their valuation. I can't say the exact number, um, but obviously, like I said earlier, having an in-house um, predictable client acquisition system obviously increases um, your valuation and attracts the right buyers. Um, the buyer of close by Luke Alexander, he brought me on board again to consult and help with the cold app on. They have two SDRs. We started around four days ago as well. Um, here are a couple of the results right here. If you guys wanted to scroll into this, um, the very, very first day we got around, I think it was nine interested responses, which is in this screenshot right here. Second day was seven. Um, and then from there right now, the goal, we're, we're just four days in right now. The goal is to essentially just convert these interest leads into booked appointments. Um, the next process, which I've talked with the team about is we're going to get them to, you know, hit these, hit these leads off of cold email, right? The goal is obviously to get their interest from cold email. And then the goal is to get them off of cold email once they actually have any sort of interest. So we're going to get them to warm call all these leads. Uh, if they show interest, if they say, look, we're interested, we're not going to stop or, or we're going to tell the SDRs like, look, we're not going to, we're not going to stop until we either get a yes or no, obviously no sort of spamminess or bad kind of like low quality follow-ups, just making sure that, you know, I, I like to call it, you know, persistent, respectful follow-ups, personalized loom videos, very human centric based SMS, Facebook, and IG. Um, but the rest of the stuff is using automation. Like I said, several days, we've, we've been seeing pretty good results. First day, we had nine responses. Second day, we had around seven interested responses with this exact system. Um, we're reaching out to high ticket coaches. We're still in the slowly ramping phase because I'll talk to you guys about this in terms of the actual domains, which is the vehicle to send this many cold emails to the right people. Um, usually the first week, you start off like five to 10 emails a day per domain, and then you slowly ramp up. We're, st we're still four, four days in, and we're seeing pretty solid results in terms of these interested responses, but obviously we need to convert those into booked calls. So I, I presume 
since we're going to three to four X volume within the next two months, and we're going to continue to test and find winning angles, winning strategies. Um, we're going to be at around six to eight positive responses a day for the entirety of 2023. Um, from there, we get seven interested leads a day, um, five days a week, four weeks a month. That's around 140 interested leads added to the pipeline every month. Now, Closeify charges around $4,500 a year to get access to the platform. It's a software as a service. With the multiplier as well, this is an absolute grand slam for them. This is going to increase the, increase the evaluation at least at least by, I, I'm not going to give you an exact number, but an absolute ton. Um, if they even convert 40% of these interest leads into calls every month, which we're going to work on, um, again, four days in, that's going to be around 50 calls a month, right? 50 qualified calls a month with their ICP. If they close 20%. Three clients a week, um, pretty good deal. And also, they're not paying anybody a retainer or you know paying any sort of business development company um, some sort of retainer, pay per call. They paid me once to actually build the system again. Um, basically, what the lead generation business and development company would charge three k a month for, and you know they're giving me a percentage of the deals closed because they just want consulting and help running the machine to absolutely crush it. Once they're looking to sell again, they're going to leverage the fact that this system. Um, it, it, you know, it's, a, it's an in-house client acquisition system that fills their calendar. Here's what the flow looks like. It's actually right here. So this is this is basically, you know, the entire thesis of what we're going over and what the system is, is at the very, very top of the funnel, we're setting up an automated sequence to number one, do the research. Number two, do the actual outbound messaging, um, infrastructure, information advantages, personalizing outbound, access to 50 plus data providers, automating the research, the sequences, and the growth person who does this is basically just filling, you know, filling in the puzzle pieces, making sure that you make the right tweaks to actually see great results. And then here's where the SDRs come in, right? They're not talking to cold leads. They're only talking to leads that respond from the automated outbound. Once they actually get, to, once they get to this point in the funnel, you have several SDRs. Number one, um, the only thing that they're going to be doing is manual loom videos warm calling, updating the CRM, and then high leverage follow-ups. And then the rest, when it comes to like actually response, responding to the cold emails, um, you could use AI to do that in terms of the automated subsequences inside of SmartLead or close.com. Um, you can automate all the text in the email follow-ups. So that's that's the part when it comes to you know how we help them. And then Ben Kelly as well, added around 10K MRR to one of his companies um, after the first 30 days of working with us. He targets construction companies for his fractional CO offer. Um, he's actually selling a coaching offer right now. He got, you know, we're on 150,000 followers on Instagram and Twitter within like the last couple months, uh, mainly on Instagram. He's been on Twitter for a while. Um, we were in Scotland at the same time two months ago. We didn't know we were there. Very small world, but he's absolutely crushing it. Um, with this, he was super stoked. Um, I should get an update on that as well. Um, Ali Banatwala struggling to fill his calendar for his, his ads agency, LinkedIn ads targeting coaches. Um, he was super hesitant starting. If you want to check out his video, um, it's on the case studies page. He was super hesitant because he didn't really think cold email worked that well. Um, we ended up testing the system. He ended up testing the system out, made him a pretty good offer that was very hard to, very hard to refuse. Within the thir first 30 days, um, I beat the guarantee with this system. This was you know around a year ago. Um, he was super ecstatic with the results, um, booking around six to seven calls a week, made a big impact in the business. Numa Media, first 30 days, they booked around 25 sales calls. Still working with them, but they targeted staffing companies for the SEO web development offer. Around $35,000 in cash was collected in that time frame. A hell of a lot of leads as well that they still have in their pipeline. Worked closely with them. They referred me um, a, ton, a ton of deals. David, David is awesome. He literally closed the deals for me. Um, still working with them on Contributor Club. Um, their link building company for SEO. It's like a link building SaaS for SEO companies. Um, the outbound is launching this week. I'm going to put an article um, on US Times. He said I got it. I don't really know what that means, but it's, it's an SEO article. I'm going to put it in, you know, US Times. Um, the company basically has access to all these, so it's a very, very good company. We're going to start the outbound. It should work super well for Numa. They want to target a different market now, other than staffing companies. They already have the winning scripts, the winning outbound messaging, angle market fit. And then also the infrastructure internally as well. So if they wanted to say, look, let's target a different market, it's going to be five times easier if they were just starting from scratch, right? So I think it should work super well. Now, if we target a company, um, we're going to use AI for the system. We can use AI. I can show you guys this as well to actually, see, so they're an SEO agency, right? NUMA is an SEO agency. Um, Contributor Club is not. 
but Numa is the SEO agency. Um, we're actually able to use AI. Let's say we're reaching out to like um, SaaS companies or like IT companies, whatever it is, we could see their actual SEO score and the competitors that are outranking them um, for specific keywords. And then we can mention that inside of the actual email. So it's a lot more, that's basically relevant personalization at scale, which is using the, you know, 50 plus built-in data providers that I said, I'm gonna show you guys this as well. I'm 100% gonna make an ad on this and probably going to retarget you who are watching this video. So you'll see that, you'll see the process. So now we got into a couple references, a couple case studies. Um, there's a couple more, or there's, there's a lot more on this page and then also um, on the case studies page as well. So we'll go over that, but let's just work, get in right into it. So when it comes to cold outbound, um, unlocking predictability, Here's a couple examples. We use Smartly to actually send it, um, send the send the actual cold emails. We added around 146 majority of qualified leads in the pipeline, 35 days. And it, it comes down to a cost of $10.27 per lead, um, which is absolutely insane. That's basically like running ads and getting a $10, $10 CPL. It's absolutely ridiculous, especially with the lifetime value. Um, most, li most likely around $15,000. I don't know why I said 5K to 10K, but it's around fifteen thousand dollars for the LTV. Um, absolutely insane, especially with cold email. If you if you crack it, it's it's absolutely amazing. Should fill your calendar, but also get a lot of qualified leads. Predictability. You can test different angles as well. But when it comes to cold email, it's actually just a traffic channel, and it's only one side of the coin. Like I said earlier, it can it can absolutely be used to fill your calendar. That's the main thing. But it can also be used to you know validate a new market, a new product. Um, a new service, a new angle, whatever it is, you're able to test that very, very quick and very capital efficient. And then, like I said, once you test and find the winners, you're going to then want to run ads since you already found the winner. It would be absolutely silly not to run ads after that. You could also use it to scale an existing offer when the gross contribution allows for it. Now, why is it so important, right? It's, it's one of the most, if not the most capital efficient form of B2B lead generation that exists on the planet. You're able to book qualified sales calls and let's say your offer is worth five, six, seven, even to eight figure deal sizes. Um, you can get calls for literally 10 to twenty dollars, ten to twenty dollars per call. Um, very fast to work. You're able to see data almost immediately. You're able to see what's working, what's not working. And then also, once you get it working, it unlocks a beautiful thing called predictability inside of your company, right? You're able to pull a lever inside of the business and you're able to, you know, book sales calls on autopilot, have deal flow. Um basically just with a click of a button. Now with this, like I said, you have a lever, you can test new products, market angles on demand, book qualified sales calls for 10 to $200 per call, um, fill your pipeline with leads that you choose opposed to inbound marketing. A good example of this, instantly.ai. This guy, I was on their podcast, amazing guys, um, but they have absolutely monopolized this, this industry when it comes to cold email. They grew from a $0 to, I, I think right now they're at $1.1 $1 .1 million dollars um, in recurring revenue a, a month. Um, they've gotten to this point just within 18 months, around 540 days. Um, so with this being said, this is very, very important. This is not just a silly example. This is very, very important because this is the state of the market, right? They've absolutely monopolized this industry. Now everybody and, and their little brother are starting these lead generation companies. They're trying, I'm sure you've seen them inside of, inside of your inbox. You've seen, I'm sure you get 20 cold emails a day. Quick question, quick question, quick question. I'm sure you get it all. So do I. It's it's because of companies, you know, like Smartlead, Instantly.ai. They're amazing guys, but it's it's just like it's gotten mass market. So a lot of people know how to do this stuff. So the barrier to entry is very very low, which I get into um, actually right now. So this is why this is why that happens, um, and then also why most of them are not very good at what they do. If you've been spammed by the cold emailers in your inbox, you're not alone. Um, that's the state of the industry, right? Because of, you know, that companies like that going mass market. And because of that, you're most likely getting cold emailed from companies like this who have absolutely no idea what they're doing. Um, they bought a cold email coaching program from somebody on, you know, Instagram, from somebody on YouTube, whatever it is that basically offered them the dream. Um, they've been in the app on space for less than three months. You've definitely seen their cold emails in your inbox. Um, like I said, you get waves of these awful spam cold emails. Um, for a couple of reasons, they don't really know any better, right? All they know how to do is click buttons on a sending software. They they saw a course, they're super new. They don't know 
anything about like the actual direct response aspect of marketing and persuasion, all they know how to do is just send cold emails. Um, they don't know much about human psychology, how to per personalize outbound emails, how to use AI, how to actually provide value to companies other than just, hey, we'll, we'll you know, do your lead generation, we'll set up an automated cold email system um, and then done, right? And they don't know how to build status delta. They don't know how to build any sort of systems. Um, the, you know, the actual knowledge that they have, the knowledge that they get is just from YouTube videos, from Google, they get mass market knowledge, right? And if mass market, if the mass market is using it, it's not going to be as efficient other than something that actually, you know, actually works and actually, because if something works, right? It's not going to go to mass market 99% of the time, other than things like Alex Hormozy, which even, even like a hundred million dollar offers that's gotten that's kind of gotten to mass market. And after some time, it's starting to not work with stuff like this. This is not mass market stuff. Um, this is not a guru trying to sell you like a course. This is very, very um, important information that is used like day to day. Um, not definitely the goal is not to tell mass market about these things. Very, you know, small niche down information um, that works super well. My theory is, like I said, companies like instantly and smart lead. This is the reason why, you know, you're getting so many emails, why, you know, it's never been easier to start businesses and why, you know, you should definitely not work with those companies. The second type of person is a seasoned up on player like myself, either, you know, seasoned up on player turned like, you know, for VP of growth, um, growth partner. Um, in this example, just talking about the agencies, you've been in the game for a couple of years, know a thing or two about cold on channels. Um, you either like, you likely own an agency selling the service of cold email lead generation, cold up on lead generation. You've seen this before. If you haven't worked with them, um, they either put you on a two to three K a month retainer or charge you $300, $400 per call. Um, right. Like they're, they're going to upcharge you 10 X the raw cost of the infrastructure. And then also the data that they have you're on the roster. Like I said earlier, they're using the same data that everybody uses, or they have proprietary data systems, um, but subpar process for like the actual cold traffic funnel. If you decide to part ways with them as well, they're going to share the entire infrastructure from your business. Um, but again, with that being said, like, what if you could just build their exact system and, you know, they're the middleman between all this. What if you could just cut off the middleman, go straight to the source and actually build their infrastructure, build their data, their data sets inside of your company. Um, and then this is, this is, you know, the other side. When it comes to outbound players who have been in the game for a while, they're turning into VP of growth, CMOs, CGOs, um, head of business development, director of growth, whatever it is. Um, they know a thing about this, but obviously they're going to be in-house at companies who who value them. They're going to be you know in-house at companies who think they're absolutely irreplaceable because 90% of the time they are. That's why if you put out, if you try to put out a job letter like this, if you haven't already, do it right now. Um, it's going to be very, very hard to get qualified candidates, right? Why? Because they're already in-house at companies. Um, they have skin in the game, they're internal. They're likely helping not just with like the little things when it comes to cold outbound, they're helping with the big picture things because they're very seasoned. They know how the game works. Um, they're not just helping with one, one mechanism. Now that we've gone over why the cold email stampede is happening and who is actually competent, who you can trust and who you cannot trust, we're gonna talk about how outbound is changing with the use of AI, especially in 2024. And if you use this system by early 2024, you can use their exact system that they are using to sell to companies. Um, you could use that exact system in terms of the infrastructure, the information and the data um, inside of your business. You're going to be able to add at least 30 K MRR um, or more every single month with this system. So if you guys obviously have, you know, several SDRs, maybe just a director of sales, here's what the process most likely looks like is the actual humans inside of your business are doing manual research, manual outbound, um, manual retarding on LinkedIn, manual content, manual follow-ups. Um, it's a lot of manual stuff. When it comes to how human-centric outbound automation can come into play here, um, I think you guys should absolutely pay attention to this part right here. This is super, super important. And we're basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to use AI to personalize outbound at scale. And you, you're gonna think this was never even possible. Um, but think about it like this, what I'm about to show you, think about if you had an SDR, like I said, just doing manual research all day, turn that into a SAS. And that's, that's basically this table that I'm about to show you guys. So think of that in mind, like how much, you know, more efficient your company will be. If you had a SAS to do all manual research, 
And then it's asked to do all manual outbound as well. Like how efficient would you guys be? Would you be able to, you know, cut half of your SDRs? Would you be able to use that capital in, you know, other realms of your business, whatever it is. So here's the system. Like I said, you're going to have access to 50 plus data providers that are just combined into this one sheet. So here's what we did um, and what we're going to be doing for Contributor Club and NUMA. I can give you guys a quick example. Um, first of all, I can actually just show you inside of the platform. So right now, let's say you wanted to go after companies who are hiring for like an IT developer, whoever it is, you can reach out directly to them and mention like, hey, I saw your active job posting. Hey, I saw your 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 job posting for XYZ. You can see specific news as well by their domain. You can see their connections, their vendors, their customers, investors that they have, um, any updates on their domain, funding, press, recent news, acquisitions, um, video updates, blogs, the people. Um, if somebody literally just was hired like two days ago, you could send them a cold email um, if they're like in your target market and you can mention, hey, you know, congrats on the recent, congrats on being hired. Um, XYZ, XYZ, you can see their specific tech stack as well. So let's say you're a company, you, you have an SDR who is basically looking up like, you give them a list of 500 contacts a month. Um, they're doing, you know, 125 a week. And your their goal and their job is to find out the technology that these companies use, um, the specific contacts as well, the industry, the revenue, the employee count, which employees to reach out to, how to, and then finding the actual contact information. And then also specific revenue, if you guys are targeting, you know, the marketing department, you could see if they have a marketing department and you can see who is all in their marketing department. Um, if they don't have like a, you know, like a CMO or they don't have a CFO or they don't have um, a CGO, whatever it is, a COO, you could mention that if you have like a fractional CFO, COO offer, hey, saw that you didn't have a COO in house, would you be interested in hearing how, you know, my team can come in as a fractional COO? and help you with the operations and systemizing, whatever it is. Um, that's just an example. When it comes to the, an SEO offer, like I said, with Numa, um, we're able to see the company's exact site traffic as well. And then also their SEO score, which competitors are outranking them. You can see all that in this, you know, in this table. And then also it is directly connected. We like to use smart lead. If you guys are using like LemList, active um, LemList, um, any sort of company, any sort of, you know, setting softwares like that. I always recommend smart lead or instantly, um, with that, this connects directly to it. And then also when it comes to the actual databases, and then when it comes to AI, we could essentially use, you know, we can essentially, let's say we have a thousand leads, we could write a prompt and it can basically find out cause it's connected to the internet. It can find out. Um, whatever the prompt is and use that to personalize at scale. So think of like whatever an SDR can do manually, this can do that automatically. Um, this SaaS can do that automatically. So it's absolutely massive. Um, it's absolutely massive for companies like yourself. And when it comes to, you know, other specific things, I think that's everything I wanted to show you guys. Um, oh yeah. It could also scrape, you know, it also scrape keywords on websites. Let's say you only wanted to target companies. Um, who have like a specific keyword on their website, it can do that as well because an SDR can manually do that. It can do that as well. Can get specific keywords, scrape information like emails, phone numbers, keywords. Um, can also scrape, you know, like their direct phone number. It can scrape their Facebook, their Instagram, um, LinkedIn company page, LinkedIn, verified email address. It can do that inside of the platform. You can see their competitors as well. Um, so yeah, it's, ab it's absolutely insane. It's basically, like I said, a manual SDR doing five hours of work. Every day, five hours of manual research, you turn that into a SaaS. That is this platform. Just think of you know creative ways to do that and turn that into a SaaS because that's that's the thing. The only tasks that human SDR should be doing are the ones that could not even possibly fathom to be outsourced by AI, at least for right now. Um, the main thing which I like doing, which I like you know SDRs doing, is personalized Loom videos, um, sending them you know pre-call or leads that actually respond to the cold emails, to the cold outbound, you send them a personalized Loom video. Um, you could definitely automate that, but th I, I think that's probably a very high leverage thing to do. And then also warm calling. Like I said, the top of the funnel is the automated outbound. And then once they actually show, you know, like the actual warm side, um, once they actually show interest, that's where the SDRs start um, connecting with them, start following up with them, start warm calling them, et cetera. Um, and then also joining groups, networks, building relationships, super, super important. AI, it cannot do that. Um, and then actually 
usually the growth team does this, but if you don't have a growth team, um, or if you're not trying to hire any sort of fractional VP of growth, then sometimes the SDR can, can learn how to operate an automated app on system like this. It's very, very hard because most of them don't have the experience, but it's, it might take a couple months of trial and error, three to six months, but they definitely could learn how to do it. So like I said, AI is taking over quite literally all hundred percent of the manual research done by the marketing team, the SDRs, and it is automating around 80% of the outbound prospecting. This is smartly.ai. This is expandy.ai. This is cold email outbound. This is LinkedIn outbound, um, automated outbound compared directly to a human SDR. AI can do all of these things. Like I said, absolutely insane. So that's one part where I was saying earlier, um, most cold email, cold outbound lead generation, business development companies, they just help with one aspect with this, especially targeting cold traffic, cold traffic. Um, you're going to need to have off call sales assets. And especially when it comes to before calls, you need to have a, a very dialed in pre-call sales process, right? This ties back to what I said earlier, the sales assets, it's a requisite to actually seeing success targeting cold traffic. The goal is to make them more warm with content or just disqualify them. Because the main goal with this, like I said, it's to not waste time on sales calls, selling people. It's to sell them off of call. And then on the call is when you actually close them. So let's say you book a qualified sales call from cold email or LinkedIn, whatever. They book a call and then they consume several hours of your very deliberate, very intentional direct response content before your call, right? That content goes over a majority of your, your, your process, your case studies, um, who you've helped before, why they should trust you. Um, so many different things when it comes to the actual selling process, overcoming objections, FAQs, whatever it is. Do you think it's going to be easier or harder to close the deal once you actually start speaking with the person, right? Because that, that's a very, very important thing when it comes to building a parasocial relationship. That basically means you're the actual founder, which is the best person to do this, is focused on the quote, which is essentially build once, leverage forever. And they're basically just building out long form content, short form content that is, you know, direct response style, which is focused on making sure that the sales team does the highest leverage things possible. The goal is for them to actually do a lot of the selling with their content, with their videos, with their, you know, case studies, with their testimonials. Um, especially when it comes to like case studies and, and interviews, you're asking very deliberate questions that prospects would have, and you're getting your customers and your clients that were already successful. You're getting them to overcome those objections because it's one thing to mention and overcome the objections on a sales call. It's another thing to overcome the objections um, when a happy customer does that for you to a prospect. Does that make sense? So that's that's one of the things when it comes to actually. I'm using sales assets in the right way. This is a difference between, you know, your, your AEs, your director of sales, you yourself spending hours a day on sales calls and you're struggling to get like 20, 25% more or less. Um, maybe talking with unqualified leads, et cetera, et cetera. And then this is how you can go from one to two hours a day on sales calls and increasing it by like 1.5, 2.5 X um, more or less just with sales assets, long form and then short form as well. If you look at mine, um, I like long form and also short form combining both of them at the same time. It's definitely a time investment, but it's absolutely worth it. And then when it comes to the before the call, right? If you have account executives or director of sales, like I said, usually the founder, this is not best for the founder, um, but with those two job titles, you're acknowledging the lead, you're setting expectations for the call, you're emailing over long form VSL, a short form VSL, any sort of you know social proof that you have, your thesis, your process, um, and then also usually sometimes, you know, like a two to three minute personalized video introducing yourself. Um, by this point, you're you, like, they need to go, they need to watch the content, right? They need to watch, um, if they even watch like 30 minutes to an hour of the content that you send, like you're, you're doing the selling without even talking to them because of the assets that you build. And then obviously, you know, the actual sales call is going to go a lot smoother as well. I've seen this first and foremost, you know, I've seen this so many times it works so extremely well. Um, and then before the call morning of just confirm it, send them reminders, um, text, don't, don't no sort of spamminess. Um, just send them text reminder. If they need to reschedule, let them reschedule. Um, it goes without saying, obviously if you're a B2B business owner 
and you're still watching this video, you are, this is a good example, like you're more warm than somebody who has just seen one of our ads, who has just seen um, one of our posts on social media or our cold emails, whatever it is, you've seen, you know, my face, you've heard my voice, you've watched, you know, 50 minutes at this point of this video, you've read, you know, to page you know, 25 of this document, you've seen who all, all the companies that we've helped, you've seen all the videos for the proof of concept, you've seen our thesis, the mechanisms that we use, um, et cetera. Reverse engineer how exactly you got to this point of the funnel and then use that to target the cold traffic on your own. Um, it works extremely well in terms of actually top of the funnel, like I said, um, using AI and automations, and then the SDRs are doing the highest leverage human centric work. And then also the founders are building out content, direct response style and sales assets. Um, so you can warm up cold traffic. So um, this is actually like, like literally just what I said, utilizing a system like this, this year or next year, um, using the growth team, whether that's somebody who comes in as a fractional growth or somebody who's internally to focus on building the actual infrastructure and then making tiny tweaks each week to make sure that the system is running at full blast and the system is running at full optimization slash efficiency. The founder is focusing on distribution and content. Um, it could be in the form of, like I said, sales assets, could be in the form of podcast, long form YouTube videos, short form uh, objection handling VSLs. Uh, the SDRs slash sales teams are focusing on human focused tasks, right? Warm calling, personalized um, warm video outreach, personalized, you know, warm calls, whatever it is. Top of the funnel is going to be brought in the pipeline with leverage AI automations. And then the SDRs, like I said, they're only going to contact the warm leads, right? They're not reaching out. They're not doing manual research. They're not reaching out cold to somebody writing, um, spending 10 minutes writing a cold email. They're not going to be doing that. That's the lowest leverage thing they could do. Um, that part, which I just mentioned, AI can do that. They're only going to be talking with leads that have shown interest in the product. Um, you know, they're like I said, only get in touch with them with human-based touch points. Um, this is everything that we use to scale com scale companies, scale clients. How we helped Hey Social, how we helped um, Numa, Closefy, all all of the big case studies. It comes in the form of building the actual outbound infrastructure, and not just setting it up, but actually building it inside of their business, so they have full assets, full full ownership of the infrastructure. 90 days of support as well in the form of a fractional VP of growth, Slack access, text access, um, calls, placing the talent to maintain the system. Um, it might sound you know, difficult in terms of the AI and the automations. We're going to place talent to maintain that system. So we do. And then give access to the 50 plus data providers table, like I said. Um, and then also, like I said, not just the one mechanism, one small mechanism, we're going to be building the off-call sales funnels that does a great job in converting cold traffic, um, working together with the founder on that. So, like I said, in terms of references who I've helped, um, we can go over this super quickly. Hey, social, if you want to watch this interview, you can check that out on my YouTube channel. Um, they went from 35K to 117K in, in eight months. Now in 10 months, they're at around 140K. Um, we booked over 100 discovery calls in the first like 30 days. In February, they got to around 100K a month. May, 117. Now they're at 140. Um, even on Twitter, like he wasn't even, I gave him you know, the process for Twitter inbound acquisition. And, you know, he booked a 5k a month, wasn't really, still doesn't really post that much. I, I tell him like, look, dude, um, you could definitely close like 10k um, a month, more or less on Twitter, but they're focused on kind of like the back end of that right now, not really focusing on client acquisition because they already have the cold email system. So that's fair enough. Closify consistently booking, you know, hundred sales calls a month. Um, back then, right now, we're super working on that. Um, it should be there most likely within two, three, four months. Um, they got to 126K a month with the system, got acquired, like I said. Um, there's the video, if you want to watch that. This is what the calendar looked like. Ben Kelly, um, Alex Berman, I'm sure you guys know who Alex Berman is. We helped them set up this infrastructure for Omni.us. Um, if you want to watch that video testimonial, that is right here. Meetings are printing like crazy. Replies are printing. We have to staff up closers. Those were his exact words. He has around you know 100,000 subscri 100, subscribers on YouTube, um, 70K on Twitter, um, very, very, he has a couple of cold email books as well. And he trusted us with the cold email infrastructure build for his SaaS, Numa media as well. If you want to watch that video testimonial, feel free to do that. Um, so yeah, that's, there, there's a bunch of other case studies I didn't mention in this document. If you'd like to work with us, um, to see similar results to these companies and basically build the same system that business development companies, they're going to charge you 3k a month for, they're going to charge you, um, they're going to tie you into a long-term contract. We're just going to build that system inside of your company. 
the infrastructure, the scripts, the leads, the domains, the SOPs on how to use the AI system. Like I said, we're going to give you access to the data table. You're going to be able to fill your calendar with appointments. Um, not going to charge you $400 per call. You're going to be able to do this in-house $50 to $150 per qualified call. Nobody's going to upsell you, upcharge you 5, 10 X the raw cost of the infrastructure. Um, you have access to, like I said, our built-in data provider of basically 50 plus data providers in one sheet. With this, if you could find it manually, we can automate the research part. No companies are going to upcharge you 5, 10 X the raw cost of data as well, or the infrastructure. You're going to have full ownership over the assets. The infrastructure is yours. It's your company's, your name, everything on it. We have no part of it. Um, so no parting ways in your system gets stripped from the business. That's not how it works. We're going to build it in-house. Um, the companies that what they charge for and what they use. So if you're interested, we can have a chat. If you'd like, um, click get a price on this page, most likely going to be um, up there or right here. And we can see if we work together, see if it's a good fit. I'm going to add FAQs. So most likely this document is going to be very, very dynamic. I'm going to add new question or new, you know, con new pieces of content, new FAQs and answer them. So just feel free to click the document. If you've gotten this far in the video, feel free to click the actual document link, go to this page. You won't be able to edit it. You won't be able to copy it, nothing like that, but you will be able to see the updated versions of the actual written content. In terms of the video content, most likely going to record this again in a couple weeks. But that, with that being said, thank you guys for watching. And if it's a great fit, we can work together and build a system inside of your company. And, and then from there, we'll talk soon.